My name is Julie West, and I've been um, loving the Nature Center for over 30 years now. I first uh, came in touch with the Nature Center when Gary and I started to get interested in birding pretty set heavily. And uh, we discovered this place. We went on our first bird walks here, and um, I've been involved here in various ways uh, since then. I was on the Board of Trustees for nine years. I termed out of that. They were kind enough to invite me back as an honorary board member. So I'm still active from that perspective. I lead bird walks here once, once a month, uh, year round. We have a Christmas bird count here. We have the Audubon Spring Bird Walk, six Sundays in a row. And we also, well, except for when this boardwalk has been under construction, I've been doing bird banding spring and fall uh, spring and fall during migration uh, here at the Nature Center for 18 years. So it's, uh, I call this place uh, an, o an oasis in the middle of suburbia. I just, I love it. Um, I'm Lauren Schmidt. I'm the Camp and School Program Coordinator. So I work in the Education Department helping run summer camp and then also seeing all of our school groups that come from Shaker Heights, Cleveland Heights, CMSD and some um, other one-off programs with different area schools. And I've been at the Nature Center for just over three years. Um, I started seasonally and then worked my way up full time. And kind of like Julie said, it truly is kind of that oasis in the middle of an urban environment. Um, gets the kids kind of out of their normal setting and seeing what green space in the middle of a city can really be and how important and impactful that is in our area. And I think one of the really neat things is, is you do a lot of work with Cleveland Metropolitan School District mm -hmm. students and students that would normally have access to this kind of environment. Exactly, yeah. A lot of them come, especially the younger ones, because we teach preschool through first grade for them, and they come with almost a fear because a natural mm -hmm. green space like this is not something they're familiar with. Um, so coming here and introducing them, having them see you know, just a natural safe area, but then also seeing people like Julie doing citizen science outside so that they can see it's something that you can do not just when you're a kid, but you can enjoy it through your entire life is very impactful for all the districts, but our CMSD kids especially, I think. And sometimes it's really cool if I'm showing a bird to, um, I'm banding a bird and, and, and the kids get to see it and mm -hmm. every once in a while you'll see one that just lights up like a whole yeah. new world and that's, that's mm -hmm. just an incredible feeling. Yeah, I think that one of our most engaging programs is probably the Birds and Butterfly program that we utilize this marsh deck a lot with, but um, in the past when Julie's done her bird banding out here, the kids getting to see the migrating warblers or the different species that aren't just kind of your typical robin or cardinal, but getting to see the science that she does with them and that there is such a diversity of bird species that come through our nature center specifically because of where we're located kind of opens that whole world for them. And it is, she's right, it's just kind of is like this light bulb factor when they get to see that. So, And I think one of the great things about the nature center is the variety of habitats here. Mm -hmm. And we have our marsh, we have the Dome Brook, we have mature forest, we have some scrub shrub, we have a demonstration prairie, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. have um, just so many different environments. So I think over the years I did a just a real quick count, I think I have like over 160 bird species that I've seen either here right on the Nature Center trails or at lo Lower Lake, mm -hmm. um, which is I think a pretty good number for, for this, <laughs> this size, of, size of area. Mm -hmm. 